If you want to learn how to do transitions on CapCut, then this video will show you how step by step. So let's just use these two videos as an example. Now I'll just add them to the timeline. Now, if you want to add transitions, all you have to do is click on transitions over here, and then CapCut will have a lot of different options for you to choose. Now, if you move your mouse over it, then it will show you what it looks like. Right, if I move over here, you can kind of see what the transition will look like. So if you want to see how the transition will look like for your videos, all you have to do is click on any of the transitions over here. So if I click on this one, then CapCut will show us a preview, right? If I click on this one, then again, we get a preview. So if you want to see it again, you can just click on the play button over here. If I click it, it's going to show us the preview again, right? Every time you click it, it's going to show you what it looks like. So you can just go through all these different transitions and then just see which one you like. So let's say, for example, I want to add this glitch transition to my videos. Then all I have to do is click on the plus over here. And just like that, if I play the video again, then we should have a glitch transition. So just like this, we now have a glitch transition. And by the way, you can actually make the transition longer. So you see, when we add a transition, we have this gray box, right, between these two video clips. So if I drag it, it will make the transition a lot longer. So here's what it looks like if I make it very long. It's going to have a very long and slow transition just like this. So most of the time, you won't need to make it that long. The default is usually good enough. Now, if you want to change your transition, or let's say you don't like this one, you can just right click and then you can delete. And then you just go over here and then you find another transition. So now let's say you want to use this transition. So you can click on the plus sign or another way you can do it is you click and hold and then you just bring it down between your two video clips. And then if I play it, we should now see that we have the new transition. So this is how to do transitions on CapCut.